Hello everyone. This is a lecture one in a series of lecture for advanced management accounting. And the topic area we're looking at is throughput accounting. Now, what is this idea of throughput accounting and uh, how are we going to apply this to, well, I've made out a simple scenario here. Normally, when we have uh, limited factors, what we've learned in the past is we calculate the contribution and then we calculate the contribution per limiting factor. And then uh, surely we will choose whichever product. So I've made up uh, two products here, product A and product B. And we will analyze and see, well, which one gives the higher contribution per unit. But when it comes to throughput accounting, there is one big assumption that we will use to illustrate and uh, complete this exercise here. And that big assumption is this. Labor cost is considered as a fixed cost. Now, the reason for this is surely where you are employed or most of the time when someone is employed, they are normally employed on a contractual basis. And when you're employed on a contractual basis, at least in the short term, uh, labor is considered as a fixed cost. As a matter of fact, all of the variable cost and all of the costs are considered as fixed costs. The only, the only variable cost is materials. The only variable cost is materials. Now, how does that change our analysis? And the answer is not so much because when we have a limited factor, what we used to do, uh, as I've told you before, is we used to calculate the contribution per limiting factor. And what we'll do here is, well, since materials is the only variable cost, so if we were to analyze this, let's say labor um, was a limiting factor here, and how would we utilize that to our best of our uh, capabilities? So. With throughput accounting, we'll still calculate contribution. And um, I'm just going to change the word slightly later. Uh, because remember, here, materials is our only variable cost. Materials is our only variable cost. So we will calculate the contribution. And uh, this goes, well, selling price minus our variable co cost, in which case, um, so this would be 24 product A, and let's do the same for product B, um, 10 for product B. Now, because we are do using a different terminology here, because you remember, contribution is a terminology we use while we are doing marginal costing. The only difference here is once we have this, we don't call it contribution. So we'll change the name and we will call it throughput. Yes, but in effect, if you think about it, um, it is contribution. So we just call it throughput here. So what's the deal? The deal is this. All of the remaining cost. So in our example, for product A, well, labor any variable cost, so of the variable cost. Remember, because only materials is considered as variable cost. So all of the remaining cost for product A, this will be fixed cost. And for B, same goes for B, for, for B. So labor. Plus other variable costs 
plus fixed costs. So that will be the fixed cost for product B. Now, this is just a quick introduction, just a brief, but the terminology is very important. So the takeaway from this video is this. When using throughput accounting, the major assumption is that the only variable cost is material. So if the only variable cost is material, all of the remaining costs, they are considered as fixed costs. And under normal circumstances, we would calculate the contribution. Remember, contribution is selling price minus any variable cost. But here we do the same thing, but the only difference is we don't call it contribution and we call it throughput. I will stop the lecture here so that uh, you can get used to the terminology and in the next lecture I will use an example and introduce step by step the different formulas. So I'll see you in the next video.